This is an all gear driven knockout set. Uh, it doesn't have any hydraulics in it. Okay, it's just a gear reduction and a worm drive. Okay, pretty basic. There's two real advantages to this set. The first is the drive, but the second are our cups and cutting dies. Our cups and cutting dies have alignment lines on both the cup and cutting die. Okay, so that's a benefit. Shallow three point cutter, which doesn't look too aggressive, but when we do an actual knockout, you'll see it's got a really good benefit to it. A little bit of recessed threading on that draw stud, which does a few things for you. Helps the seat and thread your cutters a little bit easier, okay? But it also prevents you from losing your uh, threading on there if you were to tip over or drop your knockout. The real kicker here, and if you and if you watch when I do this knockout, I'm not going to grab onto this and try and prevent a bunch of torque. Straightforward. So, for those that are doing the knockouts, that's huge. Now, here's the benefit to our cups and cutting dies. There's no binding. And usually, when they're doing these knockouts, there's a lot of binding in there. Okay, and that's part of the process. You got to get that on. You got to take the cup and cutter apart. And if you're doing a bunch of these, and you're trying to unstick them every time, you go ahead and just flip it over, and that's that's going to fall out. Yeah, they're etched in there. They are. Yeah. That's not going to be gone in a few nope. weeks. Nope. And they're actually What's large enough for, for aligning. Order up and sit in your hole. Oh, okay. Absolutely. So the other benefit here is <clears throat> the slugs will fall right out. Okay. So when you're going through the whole process, when you're making a knockout, and then you're releasing the cup and cutting die, and then you're trying to release that slug, that's the whole entire process. This has an advantage over any of the competitions. Clearly. How much?